at this point you can decide to stop but there's one last thing I normally do and that is the camera raw filter for all the other things you can do in raw but to be able to do that again non-destructively I would select all my layers together and convert them into one smart object so I right click and choose convert to smart object that way all these layers will be wrapped up into this one smart object which we can call uh, portrait retouched and then apply the camera rule filter on that so I go to filter camera rule filter and then here we can do all kinds of different things like increasing the shadow slightly decreasing the highlights a bit then we can maybe decrease the overall exposure. I feel like it was a little bit overexposed. That looks a little bit better. Maybe we can slightly increase whites just to compensate for the contrast. You can see the histogram as well. And by the way, we can always drag the histogram around to get a nice and even histogram like that. You can move the midtones around until we get it in place. Pressing P you can see before and after and you, see, you can see already we have a little bit more detail on her face. Before it was a little bit too bright, now we can actually see a bit more detail there. Then we can reduce clarity for portraits. I actually prefer to reduce clarity instead of increasing it. Increasing would add too much contrast. Decreasing it, especially for women, will make the skin look slightly softer. So that was before, this is after. We can increase vibrance if we feel like it needs a little bit more color intensity. I think it looks fine, but you can always add slightly a bit more of that. Then we can use the eyedropper tool and sample from the image a gray color, like her shirt, for example, could be used for that, like these parts here, we can sample try to adjust the colors so before after there's actually not much need for white balance but I still used it just to make sure it looks good and then of course we could also add additional effects like under the effects we can use post crop vignetting to add some darker shades in the corners and we could go into even sharpening here to add an overall sharpening on the portrait like that and you can just keep on going adding changes here but I'm going to click OK and just show you one last time so that was before and after in case I want to make changes to my rule filter I would double click on that and make my amends if I want to make changes to what's inside this smart object so if I want to access my retouch layers I would just double click on the smart objects thumbnail which will take me to the source where I can still access all these details and in case of the teeth I can always go back and select one of these layers or even create an additional new layer I just realized that for the teeth we can also use the healing brush or even spot healing brush and just go over some of these details to get rid of some of the uh, different colored parts although we remove the yellow colors we can still do a little bit even nicer and neater job there to just remove any unwanted colors that's a little bit too much there uh, yeah something like that looks slightly better so if I now turn this off and turn it back on you can see the difference there so now that we updated that small detail we can go to the file menu save these changes so save it and then when I close this and go back to the original one so this is the actual file here we can see before and after before and after and if you still feel like there's some changes needed you can always go back amend that come back save it and so on and so forth overall what I feel is my sharpness is too much so now the skin doesn't look really good so we can always reduce the sharpening effect or just adjust it until we get to a good result but generally that is like the whole workflow all together from start to finish and we can check before and after from the history panel we can always save this with the current settings so I'm just going to choose file save as and save it as portrait retouch and uh, because I use that option in the history panel wherever I save a file I get a snapshot that way I can very quickly go back and forth from the original to see what I achieved just as a reminder this is under the history options 
make sure you check create snapshot when saving that way you can see before and after very quickly so that was before and this is after so applying all together the techniques this is what we managed to achieve from the original raw photograph to the retouched and adjusted portrait so once again before and after now i'm not saying that this is all you can do and whether this is the best retouching you can do but i just wanted to show you a combination of all these techniques in one example but to make sure you understand how retouching works i'm going to show you the application of these tools on another example so in the next video we are going to do a restoration project so restore a vintage photograph and also learn how to colorize black and white images.